So how's it going ladies and gents and welcome back to the channel. My name is Brexer and I create content, anything Yu-Gi-Oh! and everything Yu-Gi-Oh! Today, we have reached Diamond finally and it only took us two days just to reach that rank. And well, of course, because I have work to do in the morning, so yeah, two days! <laughs> anyway, so this deck is actually from the from the previous um, Rose 10 Yi deck that I've used and well, it got a little tweak and this made it much better but nevertheless it helped a lot in grinding to diamond and i would like to share to you guys on on my um journey from platinum onto diamond so without further ado let's get into master duels and check that deck out so we're here in master duel and yes as you can see we already got diamond and I'm of course checking out some other decks uh, potentially will showcase this one in the near future but um, tomorrow is gonna be the new update for um, the Valiant Wings selection pack so we are gonna use later on agents hopefully hopefully but before that we're gonna talk about the Rose Tenny deck that I've been using throughout the entirety of my Platinum to Diamond um, grind well basically this is the same as the last one that we use but as you can see I removed one copy of Mecha Phantom Beast and added our soul our sword soul Mu Yi and with that from um, Jet Synchron we removed that one and changed it with Deskbot 001 so there are some heavily debated um, topics in the internet nowadays if you are gonna use Deskbot, Deskbot 001 or Jet Synchron. So in my own opinion, this bot 001 is pretty much useful in doing the combo and it doesn't really need you to discard or send one card from your hand to the graveyard just to spell silent on a field. Where in Jet Synchron, you need to send one card from your hand to the graveyard to have it spell summon to your field. Nevertheless, um, this bot uh, took away the, the spot for this deck. So um, on top of that, uh, we made three copies of Tenyi Vishuddha and Tenyi Ashuddha, just three copies of that. Um, I think that's it. That's basically it. So what this deck promises is more on consistency. With regards to a pile of special summoning your barrel on the floor on your first turn. And of course, doing the same for the Hulk and Aurorodon combo um, after you summon your barrel on the floor. So that is perfect for this deck and this is very much consistent when it comes to its gameplay in Master Duels and I've tested this deck out tirelessly on how it works and what are the strengths and weaknesses of this deck. So first and foremost, the strength of this deck is, it, like I said, it's very much consistent on doing your plays correctly and it can combo out to much more he heavily guarded or heavily um, bodied monsters like your um, Cheng Ying your Protos, your Baron the Floor on the field, your, um, what was that a card again? Uh, your Shi Shao, and, and also your Borload Savage Dragon, if ever you can summon that to your, to your field. Although that is one of the, its strengths uh, this deck has to offer, the downside for this deck is you need to be um, going first. Because going second, uh, it might not be very applicable, but um, it's widely used as going first for this deck. Second um, downside for this deck is that um, its recovery for this deck after the whole combo or after the second turn, if ever your opponent survived that second turn and they broke your board, then there is a slim chance of recovery for this deck like a very slim chance because basically once you've exhausted every amount of cards from your deck or extra deck to your graveyard then there is a little chance that you can recover from your opponent breaking your board so uh without further ado this is your rose tenny deck or your rose punk tenny deck uh and here are the replays and here we are guys in the replays and we won the coin toss so uh, what we have on, on our first hand is our copy of Chai Wen, one copy of Ash Blossom, one Ashuna, one Emergency Teleport, and one Cross Out Designator. Now, this is one of the best decks that I can by far 
um, C as your first turn draw. So let's go on with the replays. Let's see what we can do with this deck. So first off, we're summoning our Ashina to the field. And then we go for emergency emergency teleport getting our Punk Ziamin. Ziamin uses the effect get Punk um, Foxy Tune. We then move to Baron the floor. That easy to summon to the field. Now we use Foxy Tune. So we'll summon another copy of Ziamin. Um, normal summon our Shi Wen to the field. And we go with our combo. So like I said, guys, um, Baron the floor is... Special summon uh, first just for a save, a fail save. If ever your combo can be negated by an Ash Blossom, can be negated by a uh, Cyframe Gear Gamma, can be negated by um, an Infinite Impermanence uh, Effect Mailer, whatever the card can negate um, on your side of the field. And even Nibiru. So Barrel on the Floor is there as protection for that combo. So let's move on. So, um,. Hockey Fire Rex is activated and he activates his Ash He activates his Ash Blossom. Luckily, we have a copy of our, our Crossout Designator on hand. We activate that one, banishing one copy of our very own Ash Blossom um, out of play. So we move forward with our combo with a Hockey Fire Rex, get our copy of our uh, Deskmark 001 to the field. We move on to our Aurora Dawn. And we summon Aurora Dawn and it's three tokens to the field. So at this point on, if we ever had Jet Synchro, we cannot spell summon Jet Synchro to the field. Luckily, we have Deskbot for that. So we summon Deskbot to the field. Spell summon another Mega Phantom Beast to the field. Uh, that's a Lion. So we Synchro summon into our Deng Long to the field with one token um, sacrifice. Now, Deng Long will prompt its effect get one copy of... Um, it's Yang Zing card, and then O Lion will summon a token to the field being used as a synchro material. We get our copy of Nine Pillars, use Deng Long's effect to uh, discard or send a uh, worm monster to the graveyard. We said Vishuda, and then we synchro summon to our Cheng Ying. Cheng Ying is then trail summoned to the field by the use of Deng Long's effect once it's sent to the graveyard. So Cheyen is on the field. Because of that, and we use our Ashina's effect to spell summon our Vishuda or one copy of Vishuda from the deck to our side of the field. And then we move towards to a level 7 synchro, which is our Yazi. So Yazi is on the field. We'll use the effect of Baron the Floor to pop our Yazi. Yazi will prop its effect, and Shiwen will prop its effect, spell summoning and its um self to the field, and of course. Yazi will sub shrill summon um, a worm monster to your side of the field. We get, of course, our Teya to the field and then use Teya's effect to banish one card from our, or one worm monster from our graveyard. And then we shrill summon its token. So its token, we can uh, shrill summon uh, our um, Shishao. So Shishao's effect is going to prompt. And then we chain block it with Teya, sending one copy of, I think we, uh, we send to the graveyard one Vishuda or Ashuna, yeah. So uh, Shisha is going to uh, activate and get our emergency uh, emergence to our hand. And then we synchro summon our Vishuda and one Chi into the field with our uh, Baxia. So with emergence, we get our Protoss to our hand. and then, So we banish three monsters with different attributes from our graveyard. And then we summon Protoss to the field. And with that, since we already have our light monsters, our... Um, water monster and our wind monster all we need to do now for protos is just declare one attribute which is dark since um, protos is undestructible for any card effects it is um, it works with its effects <laughs> solely now there are uh, some instances where boxia is not one of the uh, cases that we can summon to the field wherein you can almost also summon draco berserker of the tenyi of course, if you are not locked to Worm Monsters, you can also summon Borrowload Savage Dragon, which is also pretty good once it's on the field. You just attach a Rorodon to it to have your three um, Borrow Counters. Um, so that's it. That is our end board, a very strong end board for that matter. With our nine pillars of the Yang Zing, we have our Baxia as sacrifice if ever they'll activate a magic or trap on their side of the field. We have our two negates, of course, and an effect of our Supreme Sovereign, which can banish one card for, uh, on the graveyard and on the field out of play. So it's the opponent's turn, and let's see what he is using. So, first and foremost, he just used his Kaiju to um, get our Supreme. 
which was not very not very um good for a target since we have our baron the floor we still have our two negates um on top of that so he's gonna use his numeron wall so we're going against a numeron deck he then uses his um numeron network and then he uses one copy of his number and calling just to summon his monster field we then activate our nine pillars of the yangzi thus we still have our two negates on the field um take note of that so that number and calling is, is uh, negated sent back to the to the deck we uh, tribute our baxia he then uses number and network we then chain with our baron the floor so at this point on he just scooped so we have here on our second game guys and this is one good hand as well uh we have our ashina one master reborn one ascended of the thunder one long yon and one psychic tracker now if you know psychic tracker you need to have a level three monster in the field other than a psychic tracker as well and then it can be spirit summoned to the field nevertheless it's still a good combo um so uh what we can do here is just summon our Long Yan, but it was Max Seed. So, um, might as well just summon our Baron the Floor, even though we are Max Seed, since, of course, this is a viable, um, kind of like average end board. So, we did, our, we did that actually. <laughs> so, he might, he actually drew two, uh, three cards on top of that, um, Spiral Summoning. So, we're just gonna have to pray and our, uh, and hope our Baron the Floor doesn't die on his turn so since we never did really uh made our combos never did re exhausted all of our um, resources from the deck or the extra deck so we still have a good combo on the next turn if ever we'll survive so what we have uh, as our opponent um we have invoke so basically invoke and what we are just waiting for a card so he uses is um alistair we then, of course, just negate Alistair. And so we have here his second archetype that's added for Invoke, which is Shadal, which is not the, the best kind of deck that we are going to go up against. So he, he doesn't have a Shadal and one Dark Monster that he can use. I don't know why, but so Construct is summoned to the field by uh, sending them to the Graveyard one Ecclesia and one um, Skumara. So. <laughs> Skumara. So he's gonna use his effect of construct, send one car, one shadow card to, from the deck to the graveyard. So he got his dragon, allowing him to draw one more card. And I think he drew in. Uh, why did he got that? Oh yeah, that's because he drew into dogmatic floor the least. So he he just um, went into battle phase and attacked with his construct, popping my bar on the floor, and then attack with his floor the least, getting three thousand. Uh, damage to my life point. So at this point on, uh, he, he didn't exhaust really that much on his combo. So nevertheless, he just set one card and passed his turn to me. So at this point, we just have to um, monster reborn. <laughs> um, later. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot. So um, I never knew what that back row was because he already used his um, shadow fusion. So I, what I did was just summon my Ascended of Thunder just in case uh, my Baron the Floor will be negated or destroyed. So saving that Monster Reborn is pretty crucial for me. So uh, summoning it was actually good. So I mean summoning Ascended of Thunder was actually good. So he used his um, Super Poly, which of course was uh, pretty much okay. So he summoned another copy of Construct. Construct will prompt its effects and another um, Shadow card. From the deck to the graveyard so at this point it doesn't really matter because we already got the good combo right here and this is a combo starter that middle card right there that red rose dragon is our main combo piece so let's go monster reborn uh doesn't really matter he's gonna banish my monsters doesn't really matter <sighs> right so he didn't banish <laughs> baron the floor so baron the floor to the field Summon our red rose, summon our tracker, go with the combo. That's easy. Easy as that. So basically, I just um, uh, fast forward this one until uh, Aurora Dawn, and we get our Denglong afterwards after we sacrifice our Despot 001 and the Aurora Dawn. So there we go. So we have our Denglong to the field. Just the basic combo. 
But if there were some discrepancies with regards to gear combo, you can e uh, either segue to other combos as well. It's up to you. But this is basically the combo piece for every Rose Tenny deck by far. So that is it. Uh, we need to go for our Silver Rain to the field. And yes, same thing, same thing. Effect, get our copy of um, Shi Wen. So we'll summon, of course, our um, Vishuda to the field before it, uh, before one of our tokens are removed from play. Oh, excuse me for that. Yazi on the field. Yazi prompts effect, destroy itself, and one card on your opponent's side of the field. Thus, never using Baron the Floor's effect. So, uh, yeah, Chi Wen summon to the field. And then Yazi summon to the field as well. I mean, so summon a worm monster, then banish one worm, one mo worm monster, and then we we just um, actually um, <laughs> killed him. So he's just scooped. Uh, so after this, what we get? What I have I had in mind was just summoning our um, Berserker of the Tenny, and of course our uh, what was that? Shisha to the field. So we, we already got more than lethal to end that game. So that is the deck profile for today guys and yes that is that easy to use this deck and yeah if you don't know this deck just do a lot of practice and that is basically your combo. Um, That is the composition of the deck that is the game replays that is the narration or the uh, incomplete narration of how people scoop uh, because of this deck. So we have a good end board for every combo or for the end of every combo that we have. So that is it for today, guys, and thank you all for watching. If you like this kind of content, please feel free to subscribe. Well, basically, just um, see you in the next video, and keep safe, good luck, have a good day. Bye-bye.